I'd like to look at how to make a box plot on the TI calculator and to do so I'll use this example. In 2005 the formation of Tropical Storm Epsilon set a record for the greatest number of named storms in the Atlantic in a single hurricane season, 28. The following table records the number of named storms, hurricanes, and tropical storms in the Atlantic since 1984. So here's the data. Now a box plot is a univariate graph, univariate, one variable graph. So I'm only interested in graphing one variable. The year itself is not terribly interesting in the univariate sense. So I'm going to graph the number of named storms. And so I've typed those into my calculator into list one. If you need to do that, pause the video and type those in. Once I have the data in my calculator, I'm going to press second in stat plot to go to a graph, and I'll just go ahead and do this in graph number one. Make sure that on is highlighted. If the off is highlighted, I'll just go to on and press enter, and that will toggle it on. And then I go to type, and I want to use this box plot right here. Sometimes this confuses people. When I go down, I actually need to scroll over to get to that box plot. And whoop, I didn't hit enter when I got there. Hit enter. And all I need is an L1 X list. My frequency will be 1. So I'm going to press zoom 9. I'll show you a quick mistake that sometimes happens so you know how to handle it. Sometimes when students get here, they'll press zoom 9. And you notice that the A is flashing. That's because it's in alpha mode. So when I press zoom, it gives me this green F3 and it won't let me do zoom 9. So just quit, second quit, and press zoom 9 and it'll work. So there's a box plot and pressing trace shows you what the median, the quartiles, the minimum, and the maximum are. Now this point seems a little strange and it said that 28 was a record so I'm curious if it's an outlier and the TI will do that for you as well. I'm going to show you two things at once so I'm going back to stat plot and this time I'm going to press plot 2. So press enter, toggle it on by pressing enter and this one's already set up to do this modified box plot. If not I could go there and press enter to highlight it and this information is also from L1 And now this modified box plot, when I press zoom 9, that's this bottom one here, it shows me what the outliers are. And so I want to show you how that looks. I can drag it over here and make it bigger. So on both graphs, of course, this is the minimum. And these are the quartiles. So that's Q1 and Q3. The median is sometimes called Q2 we usually call it the median and this point up here is the max now this modified box plot right here the modified box plot is using Tukey's rule of 1.5 times IQR so this is the IQR and Tukey had the idea of multiplying that blue line by one and a half and then going this way and this way off the quartiles to come up with these fences. And if points fall outside of those fences, Tukey called them outliers, and we will follow his convention as the TI does. So this point is more than 1.5 times IQR above Q3 or below Q1. The fence is not actually shown. Here's the fence it's not actually shown on the modified box plot and so this point right here is the biggest point that isn't an outlier so this data point right here is actually in the data set but it's not part of the five number summary so that's how you make a regular box plot and a modified box plot with your TI calculator.